Welcome back besties! So a lot of you have been asking how to achieve the perfect apex using dip powder. So today I'm going to show you how to do just that with four additional steps. Keep in mind this application process is a little bit more advanced, so if you're a beginner, don't worry, you'll catch on. Before we get started, if you don't know what an apex is, click on the link above to learn what an apex is and why it's important. Now let me show you a quick example on my nails. Here on my nails I have all dip. See the apex right here? This is what I'm going to show you how to achieve. In order to get this, we're going to add four extra steps on our regular dip routine, but it'll really pay off in the end. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already prepped my client. So I'll grab my bond and apply it to the natural nail plate. This will dehydrate the nail and remove all the oils to prevent lifting. I'm going to apply a little bit of base right here where the ledge meets the tip. Here's a little pro tip. Notice I'm not going all the way across from sidewall to sidewall. I'm just centering it mostly in the middle. This will help minimize product buildup on the sidewalls. You should always keep this in mind when you're doing any dip application. Now it's time for our first additional step. If you separate the nail into four sections, we're going to take the base and apply it in sections two and three, but only down the center of the nail. This is exactly where we want the concentration of our product to be in order to achieve a beautiful apex. Now we'll do this and dip into our natural powder. Next, we will continue our normal application from where we left off with applying base to three fourths of the nail, this time applying all the way to the free edge and dip into the natural powder again. Our second additional step to really build up our apex is to apply the base again a little closer to the cuticle this time and covering the whole nail and dip into the natural powder. Be sure to dust off the nail as always. Here you can see our shape starting to form. It's looking great, right? Next, it's time for our third additional step. Since we have more layers of powder than usual at this point, we need a layer of Silprotect. If you skip this step, when you add Sil Protect later, it won't penetrate down to these foundation layers and your nail will be weak in the middle. We need these layers to be really strong and structurally sound. After you apply the Sil Protect, be sure it's fully dry before moving on. To make sure it's dry, just tap and when you hear that little clink, you know it's good to go. How satisfying is that clink? I just love it. All right, so now that you know it's dry, it's time to file. You're probably thinking, wait, you're filing already? But what about the other layers? We haven't even added color yet. Well, again, we're just building the foundation at this point. So we're just gonna do a mini file right now just to get our apex looking flawless. And this mini file session is our fourth and final additional step. So I'm gonna start with my hand file just to shape up the edges and keep that shape looking nice and sharp. Now I'll take my medium sanding band and smooth out the layers so that when I go in with my color, I won't have that really thick application on the sidewalls. So I'll just take off a little bit from each side. This is where already knowing what an apex is comes in handy because here is where I'm really creating that perfect arch. And here's the final structure. What do you guys think? Ready for color? Today I'm using Cheeky from the Nude Collection. I love Cheeky because it's a nude, but it has a little bit of pink to it. Now I'm going to continue with the normal dip application and apply base a hairline away from the cuticle and dip right into the color and dust. Now I'll apply the base to the entire nail and dip again. Grab my recycling system and my clear. Apply base to the entire nail and pour the clear over. Grab my Sil Protect again and apply it to the entire nail. Once it's dry, I'm going to file, shape, and buff the nail. Wipe away the dust. Apply Sil Protect once more and rub it in with a lint-free wipe. Apply top coat, let it dry. Apply top coat again. And once it's dry, I'll apply Nourish Oil and massage it into the cuticles. And now we have a nice, beautiful apex. Look at that. Now remember, this technique is an advanced dip powder look, so if you're having trouble with it, just keep practicing. All right, besties, that's all for today. If you achieved this apex, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. But most importantly, hit that bell so you can be notified when we have awesome videos just like this one. Until next time, bye besties.